This video is sponsored by Ugreen. Photographers have two universal problems, running out of space for their data and paying way too much for the cloud. What if I told you this box solves both? So this box is a NAS. So a NAS is your own personal cloud, except that it lives in your home or your office instead of some data center. A NAS acts like its own computer. It stores files, it has redundancy. I can access it remotely and multiple people also have access to it. All of the data that you store on the NAS is stored locally. It's not on the cloud somewhere, which means all of your data is private and you're in control and all of your data is your own. Now you may be wondering, how much does this big chunk of metal cost versus cloud services like Google Drive or Dropbox? Upfront, it's gonna cost you a lot more, but over a 10 year period, a NAS is going to be over 10 times cheaper than Google Drive or Dropbox for the cost per gigabyte that you're paying for. Point being, it's going to be more expensive upfront but much, much cheaper in the long run. So this NAS has four bays. That's four places that you can add hard drives. And if you max this bad boy out, you can have 136 terabytes of total storage. That's enough space for 47 million photos or 92,000 videos. That's more photos than I've taken in my career twice. I've added four, four terabyte hard drives to my NAS enclosure, and that will give me a total of 16 terabytes worth of storage but only about 10 and a half of these terabytes are usable. And that's because I'm using a RAID 5 configuration. So if one of these hard drives fails, I have redundancy on the other three hard drives. Setting up the Ugreen NAS is not as daunting as I initially thought it would be. Inside the box is the NAS, some ethernet cables, the power cord, and some instructions on how to set it up. Like I said, I've got some hard drives that I'm gonna be inserting into this NAS. Keep in mind, these are not your normal Western Digital or SanDisk smaller hard drives. They're not SSD, they're spinning hard drives. These are much larger than the hard drives you're probably used to dealing with, but the price per gigabyte is quite a bit cheaper. So these get opened and inserted into each bay of the NAS and inserting them is pretty straightforward. Once everything is installed, you plug your NAS in to give it some power and you add an ethernet cable from the back of the NAS into your Wi-Fi router. Next, you open a web browser and you type in find.ugnas.com and if you've done everything correctly, your NAS will be detected and setup from here is pretty simple. From there, you'll be led through a set of steps to set up the NAS. However, I recommend watching this video that I'll add in the description from this guy named Forrest. He does a really great job of describing what a NAS does, how to set it up properly. It's very straightforward and I found it very useful. So watch that before going any further. And within a couple of minutes of receiving your NAS and plugging it in, it's pretty much good to go. Something that I enjoy about using this NAS is that I don't need to plug into the NAS. I can actually just access it through the network and wirelessly access it from my computer or from my phone. I've gone ahead and started backing up all of my really important files to the NAS and they all transfer pretty quickly, but we'll get into that in a second. The majority of the stuff that I'm storing on this NAS is photos. There's this really nice feature that lets you use an AI assistant to auto categorize places, people, pets, all of that kind of stuff. So it's really easy to search for what you're looking for and stay very organized. So if I'm looking for photos from a specific location, I open up the photos app and inside the albums tab, I can navigate over to location and I've got a map of the world and I can find my photos based on their location. Let's look for photos of Zandli. I just type her name in the search bar and there's the photos of her. You might notice that while I'm navigating through these files, a bunch of these are raw files and I can actually see the preview of what these raw files are. This NAS supports all kinds of raw formats. This makes culling and picking the best shots or just locating those lost files much, much easier. So let's check the speeds of uploading some files to Google Drive versus the NAS. So I've got a folder here that is about 10 gigs of photos. So if we drag it onto Google Drive, it's saying 20 hours, 18 hours. I can tell this is gonna be a long process and I don't really wanna wait to see how long this is gonna take. And let's try dragging that over to the NAS. I can already see this is gonna be a lot quicker. That's like 4%, 5%, 8%. That's a pretty big difference. I probably should have timed that, but you could see that was quite fast and a very big difference. This NAS is capable of transferring 1250 megabytes per second. That's equal to about 10 gigabits, which means that you can transfer about a gigabyte of data in less than a second. I find one of my bottlenecks is transferring data and backing stuff up. So any additional speed is a welcomed addition to my workflow. A couple other neat things that I think are worth mentioning is that you can also connect your Google Drive account to your NAS. That way, anything that's on Google Drive can also be backed up onto your NAS automatically, 
just in case the cloud stuff doesn't work, or if you wanna just migrate your stuff from Google Drive to a different cloud service. Like I mentioned, I don't need to be connected or hardwired into the NAS to connect to the data to access it. I can do it wirelessly from my laptop or from my phone. And the cool thing is I don't actually even need to be at home within my network because the NAS is hooked up to the wireless router. So this means that if I'm out on a job or I'm at a coffee shop and I forgot to transfer something over to my hard drive, I can remotely log onto the NAS using my computer or the app on my phone and view, access, download, or share anything that I need to. Additionally, this is a really quick and easy way to send footage or files or deliverables to an editor or to a client. Let's give it a try. This is a folder that I want to send to my wife. She's not at home right now. I copy the link and I can send it over to her. And let's give her a call and see if she got it. So I just texted you the files. Did you get them? Perfect, there's the files and they should be easy to download. So what do you think? Are you drowning in hard drives and having a tough time staying organized? Well, a NAS may be one of the best ways to back up all of your data safely and securely and be able to access it almost anywhere. If you wanna find out more, check out the link in my description. There's a code for 20% off, which is pretty significant. My name's Davey, thanks for letting me spill the gravy and we'll see you in the next video.